here and today we're trying out Tubby's Taste. So these are vegan soy free nut free cookies and these flavors are super unique. I mean this is her Caribbean punch which is grapefruit pineapple hibiscus. We've got mango coconut lime here with the home sweet home cookie and then we've got her island spice which is more of a classic ginger and molasses. I really like how the website puts it. So founder Danielle Tubby Tubbs comes from a long line of Jamaican cake ladies on one side and a host of African American foodies on the other and she used that and her experience of growing up in Miami to create this whole line of very Caribbean Southern US flavors. I've had some of the cookies warming up at room temperature for the last hour. That's following the recommendations from the website. The cookies were frozen and now they've been warming up and ready to try them. So we're gonna start with the Caribbean punch or the grapefruit pineapple hibiscus, mainly because I'm concerned that hibiscus can be very bold but also very delicate. So I wanted to make sure I could actually taste all the interesting flavors in this particular cookie. So the first thing that caught my eyes is these little red streaks in here, which might be hibiscus. That's just really pretty. I want this as an ice cream. And it smells like coconut soft serve now. There's still the grapefruitiness, sort of a citrus note in the background, but now I'm just smelling this coconut. And it really does smell like soft serve. Like my brain's thinking, Dole Whip? Well, cheers. I'm gonna say right now, this is unlike any cookie I've ever eaten flavor-wise. I'm actually having trouble trying to explain the flavor. It really does encapsulate the idea of a tropical punch. The rounded notes of coconut are kind of the main thing I'm tasting, but I'm getting the grapefruit, I'm getting some pineapple, I'm getting some floral notes. It is coming off more coconut than hibiscus to me, but it is very much a Caribbean punch. The texture is very chewy. It reminds me a lot of like no-bake cookies. There's a density to it that reminds me more of cookie dough than a baked cookie, but the flavor is just so cool. And if, but I think if you want more like a really chewy cookie or a really crispy cookie, you might not like the texture, but you might be really in for the flavor. Next, we're gonna try Home Sweet Home or the Mango Coconut Lime. I'm hoping for way more coconut this time. The previous cookie was more of a sweet coconut, like again, like I associate with coconut soft serve. This is more like straight dried coconut, like coconut you get fresh out of granola. It's like a little bit of toasty note, but still very strong dried coconut scent. So this one, you can see the chunks of actual dried mango in there. I saw on the ingredients said dried mango and I was super excited to see big old chunks. It looks far more like an oatmeal cookie this time too. Cheers. This is one actually texture wise, where if you told me it was vegan, I'd be like, really? Because it does just taste like a good, chewy, hearty oatmeal cookie. And it's got big chunks of mango, see that really satisfying dried mango chew along with the chewiness from the oats. And it, it, this is an after school snack cookie. Yeah, my only wish is that the coconut and lime were more present. They're in the background notes. They're kind of rounding it out, but it's really mango oat. But if you really love oatmeal cookies, you love oatmeal raisin cookies, you should try this one. That, that is fun. <laughs> Last, certainly not least, we have the island spice or the ginger molasses which is still making this place smell incredible. It just smells of ginger and sugar and molasses, and I am here for that. So one concern I'm having right now is that both of them actually have kind of a greasy base that I didn't feel when I pulled them out of the freezer, so that's kind of odd. It might just be how these cookies defrost, but it's surprising. Well, cheers. The bag says these are the softest baked, actually, of the three. This has the crispiest edges of the three. This is a very classic ginger molasses cookie. I don't feel like I'm trying anything super unique here. It's just done well, which isn't a bad thing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I'm saying it tastes the most conventional of these. This feels like you're new to vegan cookies. You wanna try something that's comforting and warming and classic, and you just want a good ginger cookie. This is it. It definitely has heat though. As I eat more bites, it is definitely ramping up the heat. So be ready for that. So my thoughts. Would I get these again? Yeah, actually, I'm pretty pleased with these. I feel like the one I'd eat the most often, really, is the Home Sweet Home or the Mango Coconut Lime. I'm just a huge fan of oatmeal cookies. I get them whenever I can. They're one of my just top favorite cookies. And so to have one with a new spin on it, with mango, just makes me really happy. I'm probably gonna try them after this in the microwave with chocolate chips. It's gonna be so good. I also really enjoyed the molasses ginger cookie, just because that's another favorite for me in the fall and winter. The grapefruit is good. It is really good. It's just not one I'd reach for regularly. It's one I'd share with friends to go, oh, isn't this so neat, rather than one I grab all the time. 
I don't think I get them regularly because they are $11.99 a bag, not available locally for me, and shipping wasn't the super cheapest thing. But because I can keep in the freezer for up to two months, that is pretty awesome for say if I have friends visiting who are vegan or have allergies and I just wanna have some cookies ready to go, I don't have to do any planning. Sometimes you just cannot with baking. Sometimes you need cookies ready to go. It, it's really down to I can't really get these locally yet. This is very clearly being set up to scale. When I started watching this brand last year, they only had subscription boxes available. Now they've got packages ready for scale and being sold everywhere, so Fingers crossed we'll have them in my neck of the woods or your neck of the woods sometime soon because everyone deserves a really unique cookie. So with that, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Have you tried Tubby's Taste? Are there vegan cookies that you adore that you wish people knew about? i love to hear all about them because everyone needs good cookie info. And with that, I'll catch you next time. Laters! Okay, I really wish that she would sell matching ice creams to go with these because the grapefruit would be just so good as an ice cream.